Hey guys, it's Tiff and welcome back to my channel. You already know what today's video is, so I do not need to tell you twice. What is up? <sighs> First full official video I'm filming with my new camera lens and let me tell you I love this lens so much But anyways, it is currently at 12 33 I'm about to head over to pick Tiana up and we're gonna go get Bucko's which is a coffee place here and they have Some of the best coffee I've ever had. It's so good So we're gonna go grab some coffee and then we're gonna go to Barnes We have a little man going with us because Makai has a lot of homework to do So we're giving him some uninterrupted alone time to get his homework done and we're gonna go to Barnes So yeah, let's Let's go pick her up. I'm so excited. We literally went to Barnes together last weekend and here we are going again. So let's go. A plate. <laughs> I brought you banana bread. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You ever be putting your makeup on and you like put on like concealer or something and it feels like there's like a hair stuck to your face yeah. and it tickles and it's like really yeah. annoying. Yeah, I have one right here. Yeah. Right, but also, oh my God. Oh my God, okay. Oh wait, is it playing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got our coffee. That's actually chai. But it's a dirty chai. So a dirty has... chai. So it has espresso in yeah. it. So it's still coffee. I got mine iced and she got hers hot with oat milk. So taste test time. So <laughs> I don't burn my mouth off. Mmm. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I forgot to mention these are pumpkin spice. I was literally just gonna say that. <laughs> I forgot to mention that these are pumpkin They're... spice Whoa. dirty chives. And that is so good. It is. Oh my god. Yeah. This is like, okay, next level. Yeah. Starbucks's pumpkin chai has nothing on this. Yeah, it doesn't compare. It doesn't compare at all. Wow. Superior. Buckos. Superior. Superior. Buckos is superior. Buckos. But literally, there's only one and it's here. So. I'm gonna hurt some people's feelings. But I know. I don't really care. Sorry. Anyways. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Let's go get some books. Yep. <laughs> the baby in the back. Well, he's gonna be with us. You know. No, it's like, hey. I just, I love you. The lens, not you, but also you. a lung up sorry allergies <laughs> i also like i've never okay i don't you're probably gonna come for me for this but i've never seen twilight did she really just say that but the fact that this book i know is this thick, i'm guessing that is 850 pages at, at the minimum 937 20. okay Another buddy read. <laughs> One of those good books too. I know. It's such a I think good it's the, the show them how scary and large that book is yeah i grabbed it I w how many pages is that i wonder okay almost 2000 oh my god i thought you said 2000 i was like no <laughs> yeah that's huge those of you that have read this stronger than i maybe i'll get there one day. 980 Okay, wow, I grabbed way more than This is so bad because why did I actually grab this many? 
There's no reason for me to grab this many. <laughs> this is our every Barnes trip little sit on the floor and go through the book. The, the books? Wow, you're so loud today, son. The books we picked up and decide what we actually wanna buy. I really wanna get these because this, they're pretty. They sound so interesting. Y'all are gonna get a whole haul later. Definitely, definitely getting this one. I definitely want this one too. Dude, those are just so pretty together. I know. First of all, I am so excited. I know. Books. We're is both gonna, getting it. This is gonna be our next buddy read. Literally. I'm like on the fence so hardcore about this right now. Like, do I want it? I really want to get this. I've been hearing such good things about this book. Full sense. <laughs> You're so cute. I'll give you that. I think we're gonna wait on that. Sun, 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 sun. sun. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Some of us reading our little silly fun little books with silly little words on a page. Is it bad that like I want to start one of my new books instead of reading this one? Yes, because you need to catch I know, up to I me. I know, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. Okay, the sun though. Three, two, one, read. Read. <laughs> I also love the name Rory. I know, same. Yeah. I love that that's her name. Well, her real name is like Aurora, or it's Aurora. But like. It is the next day, as you can tell, because I'm in completely different clothes and I have no makeup on and I have a pimple patch on. But by the time I got home last night, it was pretty late. So we're gonna do the book haul right here, right now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. First though, look at these really cute little like magnetic bookmark clips I got. They are so cute and they are gonna be perfect for when it's time for me to read some Christmas books. They're like Christmas in New York City and they're so cute, I am obsessed. And it was only $5.99. Like I'm in love with them. I'm in love with them. Moving on to the books, I got five books. I will say over this last week, I've literally bought over 20 books. I went a little crazy and I'm gonna have a whole entire huge book haul coming soon. So if you want to see that and you're not already subscribed, you should definitely subscribe so that you know when I post that. The first book I got is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. I think that's how you say it, but this is basically like a fairy tale retelling. I will say in the author's note, it says it's not a fantasy or a retelling, but I don't know what other word to use to describe this other than it's like a dark romance of a fairy tale retelling. So that's how I'm going to describe it. This one is, if you didn't guess by the title, based on like Peter Pan universe fairy tale type thing, which I love that universe. So me and Tiana actually both got this book because we both wanted to get one of the books in this series and I really wanted to get this one. This is gonna be like the first dark romance that I've ever really read but I am really excited to read it. I also just love the covers of this whole series. They all have really pretty covers and eventually hopefully I will have the whole series because these will look beautiful displayed on my shelves. Moving on the next book I got is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan. This is a like adult fantasy book and it's based off the legend of the Chinese moon goddess. Honestly, if I were to sit here and describe what this is about to you, I would probably confuse your soul. So I'm gonna read a small part of the synopsis to you guys so you can know what it's about without me confusing your brains. Okay, okay. I also don't know how to pronounce the main character's name. That's something I need to look up. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think I would butcher the name. So we're just gonna say she. <laughs> Growing up on the moon, she is accustomed to solitude, unaware that she is being hidden from the feared celestial emperor who exiled her mother for stealing his elixir of immortality. But when her magic flares and her existence is discovered, she is forced to leave her home, leaving her mother behind. Alone, powerless, and afraid, she makes her way to the celestial kingdom, a land of wonder and secrets. Disguising her identities, she seizes an opportunity to learn alongside the emperor's son, mastering archery and magic, even as passion flames between her and the prince. However, when treachery looms and forbidden magic threatens the kingdom, she she must challenge the ruthless celestial emperor for her dream, striking a dangerous bargain in which she is torn between losing all she loves and plunging the realm into chaos. I just thought this book sounded really interesting. I'm really in my fantasy vibe, and especially because it is the beginning of September now, and it is already feeling like fall where I live in Alaska. I actually did not see this myself. Tiana saw it and like said what it was, and then I 
walked over to it and I was like, oh, I am intrigued. I am interested. So I ended up getting it and I'm very excited about this, honestly. And then I got the first two books in a trilogy. They didn't have the third one. Otherwise, I probably would have just got the whole thing. But first, these covers are so beautiful. I am obsessed with these covers. I absolutely love them. This is a YA like fantasy series, but it's basically about this girl named Sage and she is not what they'd call a proper lady and she is deemed unfit for a suitable marriage. So she is an apprentice to a matchmaker and is tasked with wrangling other young ladies to be married off for political alliances. But as their military escort senses a political uprising, Sage is recruited by a handsome soldier to infiltrate the enemy ranks. So that's kind of the vibe we got going on. I don't really know exactly what this is going to entail and what the story is going to take me through with these two books, but I'm very intrigued. My one complaint. Okay, I don't know who decided to make the font in this book so small, but I think that whoever did deserves some jail time, okay? Because look how tiny. Why is this so small? So yeah, the font in this is really small and it is not good for my brain and I'm not excited about reading it for that reason. But other than that, I'm very intrigued and also I just love the way the covers look. So that's the next two books. And then the last book I got is probably the one I'm most excited about. First of all, I love the cover. It's called One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose. She is who wrote The Perfect Marriage. And if you know from other videos on my channel, I really, really liked that book. And so when I saw that she wrote this, I was very intrigued. Intrigued. And then when I read the back, I was even more intrigued because this is giving rich women and their problems. <laughs> and I love, I love reading about rich people and their issues because it's so interesting. But again, I love this cover. It is so pretty. I'm obsessed. This book follows four women in particular, and they are the women of Buckhead, which is a place of expensive cars, huge houses, and competitive friendships. Shannon was once the queen bee of Buckhead, but her political husband ends up dumping her and replaces her with a much younger woman. Crystal has stepped into Shannon's shoes, and she's a young, innocent Texas girl who has no idea what she's up against. Olivia has waited years to take Shannon's crown as the unofficial queen of Buckhead, and Jenny owns the most exclusive salon in town and knows all of her clients' secrets and darkest desires. Who amongst these women will be clever enough to survive Buckhead and who will wind up dead? I am so intrigued and I'm hoping that this is good. I think I'm most excited to read this one out of the five in this haul. I just loved The Perfect Marriage by her, the plot twist, and that really got me, and I am so so intrigued by this book. Like, you don't even understand how intrigued I am about this book, okay? Okay. So that is the five books I got yesterday. You cannot tell me that this stack of books is not so pretty. Like, this is such a beautiful stack of books, and I'm so excited about every single one of them. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bookstore vlog and haul. I haven't made one of these in a while, and I love filming these. They're so fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're still at this point in the video and you're listening to me talk, comment down below the book emoji like the stacked book emoji you know what i'm talking about it's on the screen anyways with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already because we have a lot of fun over here and we want you to join the fun with that being said i love you guys so so much and i will see you in the next one peace i don't know what that was uh me just over analyzing everything okay so i'm gonna read a little port of this a little port <laughs> so i'm gonna lead i'm gonna lead who else but when she what but her husband ceremony but her husband